You're watching Skills and Drills. take you through three stations right now this is used in a soccer warm-up with your team um, before a practice I do it all the time because again it incorporates lots of touches on the ball balance coordination and as you'll see uh, just it's just awesome so station number one all the boys are gonna do is dribble from here to the flag and then they're just gonna relax on the way back just by a slow jog and then they're gonna repeat guys wait till some wait till the player in front of you has just got a little bit of space then you can go all I want to focus on is pure dribbling technique, okay? We're going to do the pendulum dribble, but watch me. We have two touches per foot. Watch me. So we go one, two, one, two, one, two, and then you can move a bit quicker, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, okay? Gavin, are you ready? Off you go. Good. One, two, one, two. Always looking at the flag and making sure you're at the flag. Good. When there's a bit of space, Luke, you can go. Good. Always go into the flag. Leo, as soon as you've got space, go. Good. And then you go back home. Okay, boys. So as good, uh, very good effort first time around. You can see the gra it grass is a little bit long. I know it's easier inside, but just for as the grass, okay, I just want to focus on small touches. Try and keep your feet no more than shoulder width apart, okay? Just tiny little touches, very delicate with the ball. It's a delicate control, then a pass. Leo, go. Same thing, keep the touches smaller. Good, always go into the flag. Good, try and get that pass going. Good, 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 excellent. Good, Luke, excellent. Okay guys, next station. This one's a bit of fun. It's got a level of difficulty to it, but I think you guys will be just fine, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna dribble again to the orange flag, but this time we've got a couple of hurdles in the way. All I'm gonna ask you to do in the first one is dribble, chip it over. What part of the foot do you think we could do a chip with? Laces. Laces, lower laces, if not the little under the toe, uh, just above the toes. Little chip under, and then the last one, you're gonna pass under, but jump over with your body. Would you like me to show you? Yeah. Okay, here I go. Okay, so you, it's not a race, take your time, just get lots of touches in the ball, lots of dribbles, lots of dribbles, chip, here, and then pass, and jump over to the flag, and then come back, okay? Again, once you've got a bit of space, you can go. So as soon as the first person's over the hurdle, you can go. Ready, play go. Good. Little chip, off you go, Luke. Good, pass, and a jump. Good. Chip, pass, and a jump. Excellent. Good, keep going, can we go a bit quicker? You, you can also vary the height of the sticks, as you can see these, uh, these poles have different holes you can go in the cones, so you can, um, you can uh, do different things and vary it up. Okay, stop there. Let's try something new. So this time, what we're going to do is, we're going to do the same thing with the first one. We're going to chip it over, but you're going to use your challenging foot, okay? Use a foot the most challenging to you. You're going to chip it over, and the last one, you're going to bunny hop the ball over the pole. Feet together, with the ball in the middle. Good. Chip. Good. Feet together. Oh, that's it. Get your feet. Nice. Very good. Gavin, off you go. Little chip. Challenging foot, Gavin. Good. Gavin's left-footed, isn't he? Like Gavin Bale. That's what his name is. And jump. Good. Oh, good try. Put it back up. So, again, you can vary the height of this. Um, you could make it smaller if you see it's a bit more too challenging for them. But I think this is about level right for these guys. Good. Third progression. All we're going to do is anything you want through there. You can jump. You can dribble. Do a twist. Anything you want. Go. Nice. Nice. I love that. Go. Where you got for me, Gav? Where you got for me, Gav? Nice. Nice. That's fine. That's good. Again, let them experiment. Let them do what they want. Good. Go again there. Where you got? Good. Last station of the three. This one's a bit like the first one. Dribbling technique, pure dribbling. This time, instead of doing the two-touch pendulum, we're going to do a two-touch, but the pass is going to be a roll. Roll, control, roll, control, roll, control, roll, control, roll, control. Okay? Your turn, Luke. Roll, control. Good. Roll, control. Yes. As you see, I'm saying it's in a rhythm to the kids because when they get it in their head and they get, they can perform it much easier. Roll, control. Try and take more touches on the way up. Good. Roll, control. Keep, keep an eye where the flag is. Roll, control. 
Good. Roll. Control. Good. Good. And freeze, go. Try not let the ball roll, roll too much out of shoulder width, okay? Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Okay? Ready, Gav? Go. Take your time, but do more touches. Roll. Touch. Roll. Touch. Good. More touches. Do you have fun, guys? Yeah. Good. So you're going to take, take them. Thanks for watching Skills and Drills. Thanks for watching Skills and Drills. Okay. Make, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. And Instagram. And Instagram. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Wave. Bye. Bye. Good. Give yourself a clap, guys.